Sairam students, I hope all of you are doing good. Welcome to another English literature class. Tell me students, all of you must be having friends, correct? Some of you may have your brother, your sister, your dad, your mom as your best friend. Some of you may have uh, you know, uh, your friend who sits next to you in school or maybe who travels with you to school or maybe your building friend or your tuition friend as your best friend. But yes, I think most of us, in fact, all of us have friends. Friends, they hold a very special place in our heart, don't they? And why is that so? Because they are always there standing next to us during our tough times. They guide us if we are wrong. They ask us to walk on the right path. So yes, friends. They say that life is better with two friends. And I hope all of you agree to this. Today we are going to begin with a new lesson which revolves around three friends and the name of the lesson is The Meeting Pool written by Ruskin Bond. A gentle reminder to all of you to quickly go get your book and pen and jot down the meaning of the hard words which I will either read or I will tell you orally while I am explaining the lesson. But before I begin with the lesson, let me just brief you about the author. Ruskin Bond, born on May 19, 1934, is an Indian author of British descent. He lives with his adopted family in Missouri, India. The Indian Council for Child Education has recognized his role in the growth of children's literature in India. He was awarded the Sahitya Academy Award in 1992 for Our Trees Still Grow in Dehra, his novel in English. He was also awarded the Padma Shri in 1999 and Padma Bhushan in 2014. So that's about the author Ruskin Bond and here I have two images of Ruskin Bond. Let us see what the central idea is. The Meeting Pool is a beautiful story written by Ruskin Bond about three friends who take a pledge to return to their favorite pool after 10 years. The best part of their childhood revolves around a pool which was discovered by Rusty and thus came to be known as the Rusty's, as Rusty's pool. So yeah, we, we will be speaking about, we will be learning about three friends who decide to catch up after 10 years. But did they meet? Did they come? All of them came, only one came. That we will now read in our lesson, The Meeting Pool. It was Somi's idea that we should meet at the pool in 10 years time. When we are men, he said, we must come back to this place 10 years from today. Rusty, at midday of 5th April 1964, we must return to the pool. No matter where we are or what we are doing, we must meet at the pool. Promise? So these three friends, if you can see in this image, three friends over here, 
they are sitting next to the pool and they are discussing okay that they are going to catch up after 10 years this is basically whose idea it is somi's idea one of the friend and he says that after 10 years wherever we are whatever we are doing we should catch up at the same spot okay and then he mention his mentions his uh, friend's name one of his friend's name whose name is rusty so two friends so far we have come to know about one is somi and one is rusty and then he takes a promise from the other two promise i said i is the narrator rusty okay promise said anil so anil is the third friend so here we have three friends somi rusty and anil and it was somi's idea to meet after 10 years to which rusty the narrator agreed and also anil agreed it was a school boy's pledge and made in deadly earnest as boys we usually mean the things we say and so we shook hands on it and dived back into the water so it was a school boy's pledge okay they were in school pledge is a sincere promise or an agreement so they made a promise and made it in deadly earnest what is deadly earnest in a very serious manner they did not take this very lightly or in a joking way somi didn't you know somi didn't get this idea in a very uh, in a very in a very jokingly manner he was very serious when he spoke about it to which rusty and anil also agreed in a very serious manner they they actually decided that they're going to meet after 10 years and then they also say that you know as boys you know what whatever we say we you know we we do it as well to which they shook their hands and they dived back they jumped back into the water i hope the lesson is clear till here the pool had been discovered by me a few months earlier i remember that it was going to rain i could see the rain moving across the foothills and i could smell it in the breeze now i over here is the narrator rusty so this pool where they were sitting and enjoying and they were you know they were diving into the pool that pool was discovered by rusty and that was discovered maybe a few months earlier and he says that you know it was about to rain he could see the clouds moving across the foothill what is a foothill a low hill at the base of the mountain okay so he could see the clouds moving across the foothill and also he could smell it in the breeze you know when in in the breeze also we get that damp smell we you know so which tells that that it's going to rain very soon so this pool was discovered this pool was found by rusty a few months earlier so here we have the three friends who take a pledge okay a promise to meet after 10 years so after he discovered the pool let us see what happens in but instead of turning homewards i pushed my way through the leaves and brambles that grew across the forest path i had heard the murmur of water at the bottom of the hill and i wanted to see water and touch it so what happened when he discovered okay instead of turning back homewards okay he knew it's going to rain okay he he very well knew that any time it's it's going to start raining but what did he do he pushed his way he went into the forest okay he pushed his way through the leaves and 
brambles what are brambles a pricky shrub so he he pushed his way through the leaves and brambles which came across his path while he was walking into the forest and what did he hear he heard the murmur murmur is a low continuous background sound he heard the murmur of water at the bottom of hill and he wanted to touch that water he wanted to see that water so he went towards he went more and more into the forest sliding down a rock face into a small ravine i found the steam running over a bed of shingle water trickled down from the hillside from amongst ferns and grasses and wild primroses the rocks beside the steam were smooth and some of them were gray and some yellow a small waterfall came down the rocks and and formed a deep brown pool of apple green water when i saw the pool i turned and ran back to the town because i wanted to tell others so now what did he discover he discovered a pool so the moment he went kept on walking deep and deep inside the forest what did he see he could see a small ravine and what's a ravine a deep narrow valley with steep sides and there he found the steam running over a bed of shingle and shingle are round stones which are found on the beach basically you have those pebbles okay similar to that so he saw stream running over these shingle water trickled down from the hillside from amongst the ferns and grasses and wild prim roses so water was coming down from the ferns ferns are flowerless plants from grasses and wild prim roses prim roses wild prim roses are basically it's a wild plant having pale yellow flowers so fa- so water was coming down from ferns grass and wild prim roses the rocks beside were smooth and some of them were gray and some of them were yellow in color then there was also a small waterfall that came down the rocks and formed a pool and the color of the water was some apple green color clear and when he discovered the pool he was so happy that he wanted to run back to the town and inform everyone about this pool anil and somi were my closest friends anil lived in a crowded lane of the dilaram bazaar he was wild moody impulsive and had a certain charm so me on the other hand was gentle in his ways but he too like anil had a sense of fun they usually chose the adventures we were to have and i would just grumble and allow myself to be involved in them but the pool was my discovery and i was proud of it now in this part we can see that rusty has introduced his two friends basically he speaks a little more about his two friends anil and somi and they happen to be his very very dear friends where did anil live he lived in a crowded lane of the dilaram bazaar and how was he he was wild he was moody and he was impulsive what is impulsive a person you know when you do something without much consideration okay you just take an you know a quick decision impulsive decision we say okay you don't think about the consequences clear so he was wild he was moody and he was impulsive but he was charming on the other hand how was somi he was gentle but like anil he also had a sense of fun both these boys somi 
and Anil, they were fun-loving boys. Okay, and they usually chose the adventures. They were very adventurous also. Adventurous is basically, uh, you know, when you try something unusual or an exciting or a daring experience. When you, you know, when you get get into all these things, okay, you're called as an adventurous person. So both Anil and Somi, they were adventurous, and this boy, and they were the ones who used to decide, you know, the adventures and everything. and this boy rusty he would just grumble grumble as he would complain but he would involve himself with his friends in any adventure but he was proud proud of what he was proud of the discovery of the pool he was very proud that you know he had discovered that pool we'll call it rusty spool said somi and remember it's a secret pool no one else must know about it so somi had decided something now that rusty had discovered the pool he said that we will call it rusty spool and then he also said it's a secret pool we'll not inform about the spool to anybody else in the town I think it was the pool that brought us together more than anything else. Somi was a beautiful swimmer. He dived off the rocks and went gliding about under the water like a long golden fish. Anil's leg and legs and arms were very long and he threshed about with much vigor but little skill. I could dive off a rock too but I usually landed on my stomach so uh, he feels very happy rusty feels ha- very happy that this pool had brought them had brought them very close because they were spending a lot of time near that pool then he adds that somi was a beautiful swimmer okay and what he used to do he used to dive off the rocks and he used to glide under the water what is glide when you make a smooth and continuous movement have you seen the fishes in water how they glide into it okay so somi was the same anil's legs and arms were very long okay his legs were very long his arms were very long and he threshed threshed is he made uncontrollable movements with a lot of vigor vigor is strength but he didn't have that skill of swimming he didn't have that perfect knowledge of swimming that somi had coming to rusty how was he he could also dive off the rock but he used to land on his stomach so now let us see how did he enjoy uh how did these friends enjoy near the pool pool and what happened later on that we will see in our next class what will you do till then you will read the lesson jot down all the hard words that we have discussed okay and we'll catch up very soon in the next class till then you will take care of yourself sai ram and bye bye